All right, guys, welcome to some more R Markdown. This is the third lecture. Uh, we did HTML documents. We did a brief introduction to R pubs, and now we're gonna talk a little bit about PDF documents. And so PDF documents, uh, they are much, uh, much simpler uh, than HTML documents because they're just not as complex, right? And so um, instead of having floating tables of contents and things like that, um, we're essentially just doing um, a, a Word document, right? There are things that are preser uh, preserved in PDFs that uh, we can do. I see typos in my previous one. Uh, there, are some, there are things that are simpler or that are similar between uh, HTML. So your table of contents can still work. It doesn't it isn't nice and floaty like it is on an HTML document. Hyperlinks still work, um, but for the most part, you can't do tabs, can't do floating table of contents. But it's nice to be able to print something, right? And if you have to turn in a report or whatever, um, you want it to be printable. And, and websites, as I'm sure you know, a lot of times aren't printable because they are hidden behind tabs and the, like our option with opening and closing code it's no good. So let's uh, do a new file, new markdown file. We're going to call this PDF example. You can call it whatever you want, but PDF handbook, etc. And we're going to select PDF this time instead of HTML. So again, just like our HTML, uh, we're going to delete all the junk that they put in there to guide the opening guide, I guess, really. Um, and I'm going to just select my HTML text that I had from our last few videos um, and I'm going to paste that into my PDF file just so we don't rewrite all the code and I'm gonna make sure I delete the HTML YAML at the top so we start with our YAML PDF example etc and then um, how to use this for uh, reproducible research etc so everything else is the same so now I'm going to click knit on save click save Save this as PDF. See, I already have a PDF example, uh, but I'm just gonna write over it. You won't have one unless you're saving over it. And so, as you can see here, we still have table of contents on the left here, uh, right? So you have, uh, it's just not floating, doesn't look as super nice. Our tabs are gone. Even though we have tabs um, from our previous code, it just ignores them because that's not an option for a PDF because PDFs aren't interactive like that. However, if we go up to our hyperlink section, our R markdown hyperlink still works, right? So you can put hyperlinks into PDF documents. Um, our headers all work the same. We get our nice graph and our figure legend actually kind of looks better, doesn't it? Than it did in uh, HTML because it's kind of buried into didn't stick out, stand out very well. So this actually looks good. It's like a different font even. Um, so that looks nice. Um, so yeah, so you get this, you know, um, you can change, this doesn't have to have an underscore in it. Um, it's just have it for a coder to get rid of spaces by using underscore, uh, underscores. Um, so yeah, so PDFs, pretty simple. Um, now I'm gonna change this to a word document and try knitting that as you can see if you have word it will open it in word i don't like word has its uses like it, it puts everything in here nice the only problem that i have is that stuff can move you can move stuff in word if you put it into a pdf or an html you're not able to mess it up by viewing it but in word you know i can you know accidentally delete stuff yeah it's i'm not a big fan as a student you probably use word a lot so you might be a little more happy with it um and the thing too is you can always once you have it in Word, you can always save it as a PDF, right, through Word. Um, so th that is an option, but like I said, I'm just not a big fan just because you can mess up. And as you can see with my typing, I mess up a lot. So <laughs> um, not a big fan, but it's easy. So you just change it, PDF document, Word document, or HTML document, and that is your three uh, file choices in your 
your output here. So I'm going to change this back to PDF. Um, I am going to save it. Take a look at my nice knit one more time. And like I said, short and sweet. This was a, an easy video. We've learned all the annotation parts already in our HTML video. That's why they're so long. We kind of combined that in there. Um, but I'm going to end it there because, you know, like I said, short and sweet. PDFs are easy. So I hope to see you guys in the next one.